The gospel of healthy eating now heard throughout the land from the school cafeteria to the White House. But sometimes even more important than what you put into your body is what you keep out. And that is the idea behind today's hottest dieting trend, going gluten free. Gluten is a protein found mostly in wheat products. It is harmful for some, but for most doctors say cutting it out entirely can be dangerous. Here's my co-anchor Terry Moran with details. Victoria Beckham is doing it. So is Rachel Weisz, and Gwyneth Paltrow raves about it. It might not sound sexy, but going gluten-free is hot in Hollywood right now. And those who do it say the results range from weight loss to more restful nights to clearer skin. It's today's IT diet. This summer, Chelsea Clinton's massive nine-tiered wedding cake was even baked with gluten-free flour, 45 pounds of it. Jenny McCarthy goes so far as to credit the diet with curing her son's autism, a claim not confirmed by hard science. What is gluten? It's a protein found in wheat, rye, barley, and other grains, and many processed foods, soups, salad dressings, and sauces, too. So how hard is it to go gluten-free? This is my, like, special refrigerator. I feel like my name should just be on here, because this is where I hang out. We went to Whole Foods with Elizabeth Hasselback, one of the co-hosts of The View. She's written a book called The G-Free Diet, and she's a big advocate. Everything from breadcrumbs to cookies to bagels, it's there. Pie crust is there. Hasselback has celiac disease. That's a genetic disorder that causes an intolerance to gluten. So all those foods with wheat, barley, and rye were making her sick for years until she found out. My main goal always is trying to find gluten-free food that tastes like I remember it tasting. And she claims it's not as restrictive as it seems. The great thing about pasta... Is that you can have it if you're celiac or gluten-free. And, and you that's don't important have to, to you. Oh, it's so important. I'm so Italiana. I grew up in an Italian household. I mean, pasta was, was at our table like another family member. I like to say, instead of removing, you want to actually just replace. Elizabeth is a true believer in a gluten-free diet, and not just for people with the genetic disorder she has. She encourages people to try it out. You know, you still have to make sure you're eating a balanced meal. But those that are adopting this for fashion or trend, they're going to probably like it. You know, they're going to see that there are many more options than they thought. Do you think I'd be better off reducing or eliminating gluten from my diet? I think that if you gave yourself a challenge where you went gluten-free, you would find that your energy levels would soar and that you would like how you felt every single day. But so after we spoke with Hasselbeck, life. we went up to Columbia University Medical Center and spoke with a doctor who knows all about gluten-free diets. He says there's no scientific evidence to support all the claims in Hollywood and elsewhere about gluten-free living. Are there benefits for a person who doesn't have celiac disease in adopting a gluten-free diet? Um, not that I'm aware of. Not only that, but there's no guarantee of weight loss, and it's likely bad for you to cut out all gluten. Comparatively few people have celiac disease, about one in a hundred, and doctors who are very familiar with the diet say that going gluten-free can be dangerous unless you are one of the minority of people with that disease. And I see some very famous people uh, telling me that this is a healthful way to eat it that sounds it sounds healthy. Yeah. What's wrong? Well, um, a gluten-free diet uh, is not entirely healthy. Often it lacks fiber, and uh, the manufacturers of wheat flour fortify wheat flour with vitamins and minerals. Popularized by a scene from Gossip Girl. Pie's been secured. Thanksgiving no longer needs to be canceled. Baby Cake's bakery in downtown Manhattan is filled with gluten-free goodies, from cakes to donuts to brownies and cupcakes. So what's not in your cupcakes? There is no gluten, no dairy, no eggs, no soy, no refined sugar, no preservatives. <laughs> so how do you make a cupcake? <laughs> well, um, we start out with the cupcake base, which is made of uh, garbanzo fava bean flour, potato starch, arrowroot. We use agave nectar instead of sugar, applesauce instead of eggs, coconut oil instead of butter. And somehow, it tastes good. I don't know how it happened. 
It's those missing nutrients that make a diet entirely devoid of gluten unhealthy for most people. It's been demonstrated that if you're on a gluten-free diet long term, you can actually become B vitamin deficient. And we often see people, they often restrict calcium as well, and people may become calcium deficient. But for those who suffer from celiac disease and for their families, a place like Baby Cakes is a godsend. Throw these in the fridge if you don't eat them right away, okay? We get a lot of episodes of mothers crying because their children can finally choose whatever they want. It's a moment, definitely, for them because their kids have been without desserts for so long. It's just a really special thing. And that's the best thing about this latest dietary fad, while it's not for everyone. I think I'm going to do a caramel crunch. Okay. And good then choice. I'm gonna have dessert. For millions of people. Um, mm. It's good, right? It's Coconut really milk. good. <laughs> Life's getting a lot wow. tastier. That's really good. Have some coffee with yeah, it. Yeah, I'm gonna be a regular. 